Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about breakout rooms and how to use them in Zoom specifically during Sisterhood Night of Recruitment. So the first thing you need to do is go into any web browser you like and go to zoom.us. Okay, so from there, you're going to go to my account and then you'll see this. Um, you may have to log in at first, but I had just logged in. So you next you go to settings and um, you need to go down to in meeting advanced. Now, this is really important that you make sure that this button is on. Um, if it is not on, you are not going to be able to do any of the rest of the Zoom setup because this allows you to have the um, breakout room button in your Zoom meeting once it starts. So if you do not have this, you cannot do the rest. So make sure that this button is on. And I highly recommend going through here and looking at the rest of the settings to make sure it's exactly how y'all want it. Um, but yeah, make sure that that button in particular is on. Otherwise, um, you will not see this here breakout rooms button. So when you start your um, Zoom for Sisterhood Night and Pref, but specifically Sisterhood Night, you're not going to see this breakout room button um, if that setting wasn't turned on first. So make sure that that's turned on. Okay, next I wanted to just go ahead and play this quick um, part of a YouTube video because I don't have anyone else on me on this um, Zoom recording, so I can't demonstrate it to you myself, but she does a really good job of explaining it. So I'm going to screen share a YouTube video that kind of goes over all of the different things that you can do. And then I'm gonna come back and tell you a little bit about um, how you can use that for Sisterhood Night. And we'll talk a little bit about Pref. Breakout rooms are another fantastic feature that Zoom has and allows for um, smaller group work to happen. Um, so it's not just the, the large group setting that things have to happen in, but you can break up your class into smaller groups. Now, our example class today is really rather small, and so you will most probably have more people to work with. Uh, but in order to get started with breakout rooms, you'll notice that there is actually a breakout rooms button on your Zoom toolbar. You choose the number of rooms that you would like, and you have the option for letting Zoom automatically assign people to rooms, or you have the control to assign students to specific rooms if you have made sure to check off that setting um, previously. Um, so if, if you're not sure how to do that, I, I walk you through that in, the, in an earlier video where I talk about all of the settings that you'll want to use when you are teaching online. You can rename the rooms if you would like to, or you can simply leave them as breakout room number one, breakout room number two, so on and so forth. If you are individually assigning students to a room, you just need to click on that blue assign button. Um, and then out of the list of options for people that are in the session, you can just put a check mark next to the ones that you would like to assign to that particular room. There are options to choose from in regards to sending students to the breakout rooms and when they will return and how they will return. Um, and those are all up to you to, to decide. Um, they can be found under that options tab. And once that has all been done and you're ready to send everyone to the breakout rooms, um, you click the blue button to do so. One of the challenges that does exist with using breakout rooms in online classes has to do with proper supervision. Um, and depending on the students that you have, you may choose to use breakout rooms or not to use breakout rooms. So for example, uh, my students this year and in previous years um, have been pretty good with making responsible choices. Um, and so I do use breakout rooms and smaller groups with my students. Uh, but one thing that I do in order to monitor what's going on in the, the different rooms is I will circle around from one breakout room to the next, to the next, just checking in with the kids to make sure that everything is going well, everyone's making good responsible choices, and that there is nothing inappropriate happening. One of the options that you're able to use for a breakout room is you can set a specific time for it to be active. And so what the students will see is a countdown um, in the corner of their screen to see how much time is remaining. Once the time in the breakout rooms is done, whether that's by the, uh, the countdown has finished or you have decided that time is up and it's time for all of the students to come back, um, you as the teacher um, or the host of the Zoom session um, has the ability to call everyone back to the main session. Okay, so now that you watched the video and you kind of know how to do breakout rooms, I wanted to give some Panhellenic recommendations on what we think would be best for Sisterhood Night in particular. Um, we left PREF up to each chapter, so we're not really sure what y'all are planning as of right now. Um, 
So if you want to use breakout rooms for prep, that's fine. If you want to just have a group discussion for 45 minutes, that's fine too. Um, it's really up to you, but um, I wanted to give these guidelines for sisterhood night in particular because you are having the 15 minutes of group discussion and then 15 minutes of one-on-one -on -one discussion. So I wanted to go over a little bit about how we think that would work best, but um, these aren't mandatory, they're just our suggestions. Okay. So the first tip is to set up the rooms before PMs enter the parties. So um, make sure all of your settings and your options are how you want them for when the PMs um, for before you let the PMs in, because I would hate for them to um, come into the parties and someone's sitting there like trying to figure everything out. So try to set all of this up before they come in. Okay. Next, I would recommend renaming the rooms to the chapter member's name. So since you'll have um, three chapter members and a bump group leader per Zoom party, you know what I mean, like there's party one, two, three, and four for sisterhood nights, um, but there's six Zooms going per party, if that makes sense. And in each Zoom room, you'll have three chapter members and one bump group leader, if that makes sense. Um, so I would recommend renaming your three breakout rooms after the chapter member who will be in there talking to the PMs one-on-one. -on -one. So if I'm um, the chapter member and I'm going to be talking to a PNM one-on-one -on -one after the 15 minutes of group discussion are over, I would recommend the bump group name my breakout room, Lily's room, so that you don't get confused on who's in what room, um, because you'll know who your which PNM's talking to which chapter member, so that way you can kind of keep track of who's talking to who. If that makes sense, um, I just think that Zoom party or Zoom or breakout room, whatever is one, two, three, would just get kind of confusing on who's in one, who's in two, and who's in three. Okay. Next, I would say manually break out the rooms into the one-on-one -on -one conversation so you have a smooth transition. You can automatically do it, but I would recommend to just um, do it manually and say like, okay, everyone, the group discussion is over. I'm going to break you all out into one-on-one -on -one conversations, um, and then we'll all come back together um, when time is up. And that way, it's not like the group discussion is going and going and going, and then like automatically like they're just talking to one person. Like, I feel like that would be very abrupt and very like confusing to some people. So if the bump group leader kind of talks you through it and says like, hey, I'm about to, um, I'm about to break you out and then we'll come back together. I think that would be the best way to do it. Just so everyone's not kind of confused. Like you were talking in a group and then mid sentence, it like cuts you off and now you're with one person. Okay. Next, I would set the breakout rooms to automatically return after 15 minutes. So I think it'd be best if you manually break them out, like hit the button that says breakout and then in there it breaks out. Um, but I think it would be best if you automatically return um, after the 15 minutes. That way you don't have to just be looking at the clock, especially the bump group leader, just sitting there staring, waiting for 15 minutes to end. If you just set the timer for 15 minutes that they're in the bump groups, I think that would be way less confusing and easier to keep track of time and hopefully avoid like being late out of your parties. Um, I would also say use the countdown timers so PMs and chapter members know how much time they have left to talk one on one. Um, you don't have to do this because you might think, you know, oh, that's kind of a lot of pressure because you can see your time like ticking down. But also I thought it might be good because um, then you can like wrap up your conversation when you get down to like the minute mark, you know. Um, I just want it to be like a smooth transition and not just like, oh, and they're gone. <laughs> so um, yeah, I would recommend the countdown timers. Um, and that way you can kind of squeeze in any last minute questions that you haven't asked or any last minute remarks. You know exactly how much time you have left and you can get that information that you need. Okay, and then I recommend um, having everyone come back together before closing out the Zoom meeting to say goodbye to the PNMs. Um, I just think it'd be awkward that if you're talking one-on-one -on -one -on -one and then the timer ends and then you're gone. Um, so um, just maybe break out of the... Put, bring everyone back together from their breakout rooms and then just say, well, it was great to see everyone. Um, unfortunately, our time is up, but good luck at your next parties or something like that. You know, some kind of like quick closure so that um, it's not just like, wow, and they're gone <laughs> from your party. Okay. And lastly, as always, our Gmail is open. If you have any questions on this, um, feel free to ask. I'm no expert on this, but um, I will do my best if you have questions. 
Um, so yeah, good luck talking to your PNMs and setting up your breakout rooms and we will see you soon. Bye.